and it can get kind of confusing. So when we get into the world of not traditional surgery on the one hand and not observation on the other, but we're talking about this kind of in-between minimally invasive thing called stereotactic radio surgery, what does that mean? It's a big, big set of words, a big term, not all that common. So the way that I try to tell my patients to think about it is stereotactic radio surgery is a generic name for a technique, kind of like photocopy. And within that, there are trade names or brand names for different machines that provide radio surgery or stereotactic radio surgery. There's a cyber knife machine, there's a gamma knife machine, there's a brain lab machine. And it's kind of like there's an HP photocopier, there's a Xerox photocopier, there's a Canon photocopier. They might all produce copies and scans a little bit differently. You might like one better than the other. They might serve your purposes better, but they're all photocopiers. So that's the way to think about SRS or stereotactic radio surgery. And then when you break down the term stereotactic radio surgery, what does each term really mean? So all that stereotactic means is that your team has to put your vestibular schwannoma in a three-dimensional box somehow in order to get the radiation there. So stereotactic is just that high school math where you got your X, Y, and Z coordinates, you create this 3D box and the computers nowadays can get a target within that 3D box. And that's a stereotactic coordinate system. So stereotactic just means X, Y, Z. We find some coordinates and we can circle little things in that box and treat them. Radio surgery can be broken down into radio, just means radiation, and surgery. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. It's radio surgery. They use the word surgery to try to make you think of one session and very sharp and very accurate. So most people, when they think about radiation, they think about maybe things spreading or other things getting hurt, but radio surgery is very tight. It's very precise. And one of the analogies that I use with my patients is if you took a fine paintbrush to paint a small circle, you could do it very accurately with a fine paintbrush. But if you used a spray paint can, you'd get a lot of spray. So radio surgery is like the fine paintbrush where you don't spill any paint, you don't spray any paint. Sometimes radiation therapy or fractionated radiation therapy, which is, has been around a long time and is used for other diseases where it's cancerous and you need 30 doses, you might get a little bit of a margin or a little bit more of a spray with that than you do with radio surgery. So that's just the terminology for these things. The platform that I like and the platform that I use as a neurosurgeon is called Gamma Knife Radio Surgery. And this is one of those trade names and I'll just get into this briefly. So gamma knife radio surgery, we abbreviate with GKRS, gamma knife radio surgery. And it's really, it's a very nice, accurate platform that can use either a head frame to keep people's heads nice and steady and keep things accurate, or it can use a mask. So this is just some pictures from our, our clinic of the gamma knife head frame here. It's a four post system with a ring on the bottom. This is what it looks like when it fits on a patient's head. It's a little bit strange. It's probably the most anxiety producing aspect of gamma knife is the fact that you have to put a frame on. It only goes through the skin. It just touches the skull. We numb people up. People in their 90s blow through it just fine. People who are young do just fine. Most of the anxiety is thinking about it, but it actually is, it's been around a very long time and it makes the machine extraordinarily accurate. So frame-based is great. The company has come up with a mask-based system now to try to kind of keep up with competitors who have masks. It's also very accurate and can be used in certain settings as well. And that's called the icon mask. And that's shown down here. It's a mask system that's molded to people's faces and then using an optical camera and a little thing on, on the nose, we control for motion. So both are available. And then when you think about, well, what the heck are you guys actually doing when you do this if you're not doing surgery? What we do with Gamma Knife is we get an MRI scan or and or a CAT scan in that ridiculous looking frame. And then we send those images to a workstation. This is a screenshot of that workstation where you'll see here's a vestibular schwannoma, acoustic neuroma in three different planes. It's the white spot. And then we, we put doses in here that are extremely tight. And we're able to, we're able to plan a, a dose of radiation that pretty much only hits that tumor and nothing else but is enough to kill that tumor in usually one treatment day, one session, and it's usually a half a day. Um, depending on the size and the dose, most people are pretty much done before lunch, so it's quick. Um, and this is kind of a, 
a technical diagram to just show the knife-like precision of radiosurgery. We like to say knifeless because we think knife confuses people, but what you're just seeing here is that basically, if we wanna prescribe a certain dose of radiation to the tumor, everything around it doesn't see much. So the dose here, you see like a waterfall just dropping off precipitously. It doesn't drag out like these curves. There's a very steep drop off. So there's not a lot of injury or um, excess dose of radiation that structures really close to the tumor don't see much radiation. That's what makes it so safe and so effective.